Hi, my name is Amy, and today I'm going to show you how to do this abstract painting. I'm going to start by drawing a small rectangle that will symbolize my canvas. Here I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas, so it, it is a rectangle. And I'm just going to draw using the law of thirds, so I'm dividing my canvas rectangle into thirds. And I'm just sketching out. Here I want the feet and a crack in the glass below it. And then I'm going to resketch using dynamic symmetry to get more details in there, to really get the angles, and to add some cracks in the glass going along those dynamic symmetry lines. So I'm planning out where I want the feet to be placed so that my cracks in the glass behind her feet will hit the dynamic symmetry lines. Next, I'm going to paint the background for the cityscape. I'm going about halfway here, and I'm covering that bottom half while well, I have my canvas flipped over so I can get all the edges but this is eventually going to be the bottom half. I'm just covering that completely with a little bit of black and blue paint and I added a bunch of white to that same paint to get the sky color. So I'm just going to completely cover my canvas making sure to get all the edges because I like to do that so I can hang it up freely without needing to frame it and just completely cover the canvas that way. And next I'm adding a little bit of white and yellow to my palette and I'm using my palette knife to just go straight down. I'm scraping along the edge and um, just scraping over and I'm making sure to do it really thin at the horizon line and then making it a little bit thicker as I go down. So especially those buildings that look close are a lot bigger than those in the background. So as I'm doing each of those lines I'm kind of thinking about that horizon line and making it bigger as I go down. Now you can add some details to these buildings. You can add some windows by just scraping it with the back of your brush. And here I decided to just do one more coat to the sky just to get a very thorough background. And next I'm doing that crack in the glass. I'm just outlining that with another number five rounded brush and then I'm going back over it with a one and a half inch flat brush starting just from an edge and making it wider as I'm going down. And to make it look more glass like I'm adding some horizontal lines with that same color and that just makes it look more like glass. And then I'm going to highlight my glass crack with some white using a number five rounded brush. And then add any highlights. So this really makes it pop and look like the glass is coming out, you, out at you to add that white. Next I'm going to mix the skin tone. You use all three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And you mix them in about even proportions. Now some people have a little bit more yellow skin tone, some have a little bit more red skin tone, so you add a little bit more depending on if you want warmer or cooler skin. And then just white for the lighter shades. So here I'm sketching the whole thing out. I'm doing both feet at the same time just to make sure that it looks right. And you can just have a wet rag handy and go over it and really take your time to get this right. Now I had actually done another foot at a different angle at first and I didn't quite like how it looked. So here I'm going back over with my palette knife just to add texture to that whole background. I'm being kind of lazy with that. I probably should sand it down and um, just have repainted the whole background over the sanded down part, but I didn't really want to get out the sander so I just added texture to the background. And here I'm doing more horizontal lines just to give it that glass look. And I'm going to be using black paint to color in the shoe. Just going completely over where I want that shoe to be, getting that correct angle. And I'm going to touch this up after that just to perfect the shape. And then add in the skin tones. I'm doing the premixed color for the edges and then adding in, it ended up being a lot of white. And then I'm doing the 
spots where I want the heels to look like they poke through the glass. And I'm just doing a white circle and the background sky color, I mixed in a little bit more white and I'm doing the cracks in that color. So anywhere along the skin tone, this really takes a long time to blend and to really get all the details the way you want it. It just depends where your light's hitting. For me, right here, it looks like the light's coming about in front of the foot. So I did um, a lot lighter shade of the skin tone and that's just more white mixed into it in the front and then along the edges more of the darker shade. And a trick to make sure that you got this right is to just take a picture throughout as you're going and switch it to being black and white and that'll let you know if you got your tones correct. If your picture looks right in black and white, then you've got your tones right. And here you have it. This is the painting, the abstract painting of the man and woman. If you'd like to see the second half, please click here.